there's one thing I will tell you uh, that I think we don't pay enough attention to. So, okay, so I'm not the best Muslim, but I'm a Muslim, right? Like for me, my parents were Christians, but I, I'm like, I'm an atheist. There's no way in the world I believe in a God with what I've seen with bombs, people dying, blowing up, Iran, all this bullshit. I'm like, there's no God. What do you, you guys are, that's for naive people. But fine. Mm-hmm. I, if I say I'm a religion, I'm a Christian because the lineage is the parents, right? Yeah. Here's what you got to realize. If your mom says what she said to him, that's the Bible. Mm. Meaning, your mom becomes your God. Let, let me let me unpack that a little bit, and I may be wrong. Just hear me out. Yeah, sure. If if a mom says, "Be careful with these Western girls. Be careful with this, and be careful with that. Be careful with that," and and the the the, the form of affirmation was like not once. Not she's probably told you that many many times. Affirmations work, and then it sticks. So for me. When I was, uh, 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 my dad and my mom got a divorce. So it's a slightly different story. I don't know. They got divorced twice. And I, mm. they, they were like legit wanted to get a divorce, but they kept coming back because maybe this is going to work out. But they finally got a divorce 20 years later. And my dad is a similar philosophy to your mom. Mm-hmm. So my dad and your mom are very similar, yeah. okay, with what he says. Don't waste your time with all these girls. And let me tell you, all the girls lied and all the girls. And you got to realize, my dad is my hero, and I love my dad. My dad's probably listening to this right now, yeah. cracking up with he's same, same on my at the house. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> it, we got a great relationship together. But one day he kept saying this, you know, women are this and women are that and women are this. And a relationship goes bad. Relationship goes bad. Relationship goes bad. Relationship goes bad. And I'm finally like, screw this. I'm just going to go play and all this other stuff. And I'm like 26, 27, 28. And then we had a moment. And here's what the moment was. I start reading God knows how many books. I'm devouring books left and right. That became my, like, if I'm not going to church, my books became my God. At 20, 25 years old, I eventually uh, went to church, and I, 25, 26, whatever it was, 2004 is when I kind of started putting my life a little bit more together, trying to live by some values. But here's what, what happened. One day my dad and I had a moment. I sat and I said, okay, we give a little bit too much credibility to our parents to know everything, mm-hmm. and they don't. We give a little bit too much credibility to our mom and dad that they know it all. And at one point, we have to question, like even my kids, they have to question some of my philosophies Mm -hmm. and say, Daddy, I don't know what the hell you're talking about when it comes down to X, Y, Z. Fine. Question it, right? So I sat there and I said, do my parents love me? Check. Okay. Uh, Do my parents, without them, there's no way I'd be in America. I'm indebted to them for the rest of my life. Check. My parents' food, do I love it? One million percent check. Do I enjoy their company? Check. And I went through all this thing. Do they know how money works? Hell to the no. So that's an X, <laughs> yeah, right? Same, yeah. Okay. Do they know the 17 keys to marriage? Uh, no. Okay. Do they know how to eliminate uh, their in-laws from getting involved? Hell no, because their in-laws were a little bit too involved and they kind of screwed the whole thing up. Do they know the keys to how to find the right husband or wife? No, because back in the days it was more the arranged. You know, hey, you made the, you know, you come and, you know, kind of do that. And then one day I come on, my dad's like, let me tell you, all girls are this. I said, dad, stop. And we had this, he, know, he knows the scene exactly. So dad, I don't want to hear it anymore. Hmm. I don't want to hear this anymore. Don't pass down your limiting beliefs to me. You got to stop. Yeah. That's your limiting belief, okay? Hmm. If that was your limiting belief and you had a bad marriage or a bad life, I don't want to hear about it. Hmm. That's yours. I love my mom. I love you. But I don't want that to be me. Do you want me to also go through the same life? He said, no. Then stop saying that to me. Mm. So we had a very, and I'm underestimating what this was. It was a very heated moment. We didn't talk for a week. A week later, this is why my dad's my hero, because he's able to do this. He comes to me. Uh, and my dad's an April 10 baby. So he's like very much to himself, independent. He doesn't rely on anybody else. He's, a, he's his own man. And uh, one day we're sitting there. He just It's quiet. He says, uh, you're right. I said, what? <laughs> He says, you're right. And my dad won't say that. He says, you're right. I said, what am I right with? He says, you're right. I've thought about it for a week. You shouldn't let my fears pass down to you. Mm-hmm. You're right. Mm. And I'm like, holy freaking moly, right? Yeah. I got the chills all over my body because I love this man. I love my mom. I want to live a good life. I want to one day give you grandkids. But my dad also said the following thing, which is exactly, I can't say the whole thing, what he said. He said, listen, before you get married, date every single nationality. Mm-hmm. Do it in every place you possibly can. He, he would say, if you can do it in the phone booth. I said, Dad, it's not the 60s. <laughs> it's not the phone booth here. Get he, said, he said, you know you've made it when you've done it in the phone booth yeah. and you know, playing all this other stuff he goes through. Then when you get that out of your system, then it's a little bit more where you're not going to be sitting there saying, hey, you know, I kind of feel like I missed out. Then later on, you're like, well, I kind of missed the party life. I'm definitely not going to have a reputation. I haven't missed the party life. Yeah. So that's the part. So for, your, for a mom to say that, I mean, in your religion, my religion, where we come from, from the Middle East, Iran, mom is like, you know, for yeah. mom to say that. So 
I, I fully understand that, uh, yeah. but I think there's a there's a lot of depth in your philosophies. I yeah. don't think you got to where you are right now accidentally. Yeah, no, well, so so um, going back to what you were saying there, so like, no, 100%, like, you know, obviously you can't let your parents' viewpoints like shape your world without necessarily experiencing it. But what I was saying was like, when I was younger, I was like, I challenged it then. I was like, well, what's wrong with you? Like, what the hell, like, you know? But as I became older, I just saw it through my own natural experience. What she said was true. So it was a little bit more profound for me because I saw it through my own experiences. Because at first I was like, I don't know what Could you're talking about. Could that be selective though? Could that be selective? Could that be just uh, uh, accidental? I wish it was, be... man. But it's it's like- But you're young it, though. You're 32 years old. You're, you're still young. So here's the thing. So yeah. we, we um, so at this point we've interviewed well over a, a thousand girls. Yeah. And, and, we, and we've noticed that there's certain trends and certain belie- uh, mindsets, certain beliefs, uh, certain Software, hardware. type of, uh, yeah. And we always say, you know, just because the hardware is different does not necessarily mean the software is going to be different. The software is almost always the same, but the hardware is different, right? And what I mean by that is that in general, there's this uh, a belief system in first world countries, you know, where feminism is strong, where women think that they're equal to you, where a lot of the times uh, they don't necessarily want to do certain duties that women used to do before. In other words, your roles as a man are static. You're expected to be masculine, the protector, the provider, etc., yeah. the leader, but her roles are negotiable. She can pick and choose when she wants to cook. She can pick and choose when she wants to be feminine. She can pick and choose when she wants to yeah. be a lady. And my thing is, uh, you know, it wasn't until I became older that I realized that. And then from interviewing all the girls that we do, going on dates, my anecdotal experience, and then in general talking with, we also talk with thousands of men as well because we talk with both men and women. If you ever watch our show, we get super chats and donations from all over the world. And, uh, you know, it's always English speaking, first world countries a lot of the times, you know, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, whatever. And all these guys are dealing with the same issues. So I was like, damn, okay, so it's not just, you know, what my mom said. It's like now I actually see it with my own two eyes from interviewing the girls, from guys coming to us. Uh, and it's just like it's it's been reconfirmed a million times over and over. Now, is that to say that every girl is terrible in the West don't marry them? No, I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that there si- tends to be this very similar mindset when it comes to intersexual dynamics with a lot of modern day women that don't necessarily uh, that won't lead to a, a fruitful relationship if you don't know what you're doing. I think if anything, guys really got to be on their P's and Q's in today's day and age, even right. more so than 20 years ago. No, I mean, listen, in, in regards to that, I, I fully agree with you. But I, I will also tell you this. Listen, being in the investment world for 20 years, uh, uh, I don't know how many times I gave $100,000 to this deal, $50,000 to this deal, $200,000, and nothing happened. And also one of them, boom, $28 million, boom, you get them, yeah. and you're like, oh, shit. So none of this stuff work. You know, screw the entrepreneur, the hell with the investment. None of these guys are workers. But you got to have a little bit of that. So I, of I, course, think, yeah. I think the part uh, where, uh, 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 you know, on, in regards to the parents when you're saying mom, dad, all that, uh, all that other stuff, they have um, – I, I watched this video with this guy on Wendy Williams. He was in the movie Black Panther. Who's the guy? Uh, one of the actors, very good actor. Uh, Tyler, can you pull up Black Panther? Not, Anyways, this guy's not in, Chadwick Boseman. You not not Mike, the other Michael guy. Michael B. Jordan. Uh, uh, no, no, there was the another guy, the guy from Creed. Uh, uh, oh man, that's I don't Michael know. B. Jordan. No, not him. There's another guy. Let me see. Uh, can you go to the IMDb? Anyways, he's on Wendy. Go to the top because the pictures are. The, the cast. The cast. Yeah. Uh, Daniel. See which one it is? Uh, and I don't know who it was. Anyways, a guy was on Wendy Williams, and when he's telling Wendy Williams, when I tell you to make a sandwich, you make me a sandwich. Oh, yeah, Remember, yeah, who yeah, is yeah. that guy? I, I forget his name. Anyways, but I know it was what a yeah. great back and forth. So he yeah. says, when I tell you, woman, when I tell you to make me a sandwich, you make me a he's sandwich. He's being serious? He's being dead serious. To who? To a woman To on Wendy stage? Williams. <laughs> she says, when I tell you to make a sandwich, woman, you make me a sandwich. She's like, I'm not going to make you a sandwich. Oh, okay, okay. Let me get this straight. So if we go out to dinner, do you expect me to open the door? Yes. When we go out there and take care of the bill, do you expect oh. me to pay for it? Yes. So when we go out there and fight breaks out and somebody says something, do you expect me to go, I expect you to punch him in the face. Well, then when I expect you to make me a sandwich, you make me a sandwich. Yeah. Do you agree so with them? I do. I do. When Jen and I went on our date and we did the 101 questions, I told Jen, what do we, we went through this whole question yeah. together because I've done this exercise. You're familiar with, with this uh, book? PVD, Anthony uh, Mackie. The book? That's the guy. Oh, yeah, he yeah, freaking yeah. crushed yeah. it. To this. Yeah. He crushed it when when he get. But, but he was an eight mile. I don't know if we yeah. can play it. Don't America. play it. Don't play it. But this is something Captain that uh, people have to see. But anyway, so okay. Jen and I go to yeah. uh, we go through the hundred one questions, and I said, "Look, uh, what what is your expectation of me?" Boom, 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 boom. Check, check, check. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. Here's what I expect from you. I don't care if my wife is black. I don't care if my wife is white. I don't care if my wife is Hispanic, Filipino, whatever. I expect her to know how to make Middle Eastern food. Because my mom and my dad are only going to be here for a while. You got to make uh, my favorite dish that I like. And she's like, okay. I didn't have a lot of requests. My requests were like three to five requests. What were your requests? 
I have the book. I'll bring you one time. We'll go through uh, the, the request that I had. But I said, this is one of the things. I, the number of kids I wanted to have, the role, the relationship, you got to have a support. Anyways, I went through. So, but I said, uh, I want uh, uh, Middle Eastern. I want my wife to know how to cook Middle Eastern food because if the house smells like food, kids will, kids will stay home. If it doesn't, kids will leave. So next date, she makes, she goes on Google, makes an Assyrian dish. And I'm like. It was horrible. <laughs> not, I mean, it was the worst meal I've had tried. in my life. But I sat there and I'm like eating the food just to say I'm eating the food. And I told her, I said, babe, this is not good. My mom and dad can make it a million times better, but I have so much respect for the fact that you didn't jump to and say, who am I? I don't need to come. I'm not kidding. Yeah. I'm like, you know what? So hats off to you. But, Effort. but I tell you, I can tell you 10 other stories where that wasn't the case. Of course. So you're right. Yeah. I you can tell with, you. With other women, you're yeah, saying. Yeah, like, I'm not going to do that for you. We're going to go out there and do this. No problem. By the way, some people are listening to this and they'll say, well, I still don't cook. And my husband cooks. No problem. That's part of your arrangement, mm. not mine. I'm not going to, in our house, I'm not the handyman. <laughs> so, it, so I'm not the handyman. I'm not the guy. Yeah, right. if you come to my house, and, and I asked Senna the Tico the other day, we had a conversation. It's like, Dad, you know, in school, we have the same name. People think when I grow up, I have to be a businessman like you. I said, no, you don't. He says, well, why not? I said, dude, you're going to be whoever you want to be. Mm -hmm. I, I only want to see you do what you want to do. I'm going to 100% support you on what you want to do. As long as you're not breaking the law, as long as you're not hurting people, I got your back. He says, okay. He says, but no, that's not how it works. I'm, I'm expected to be like you. I said, no, you're not. He says, so tell me why. I said, let me ask you a question. In the house, when toys break, how often do you guys come to me? He says, Daddy, you have no clue how to fix toys. <laughs> I said, who do you go to? Papa. He Papa. fixes all the toys. I said, I can never be a handyman like Papa. Mm -hmm. I said, and I'm totally comfortable with that. We all have a certain strength, meaning there is yeah. that understanding of yeah. what you expect from a girl that yeah. may be different well, than let, his, let than Felix's, than yours. If you enjoyed this short clip, click over here to watch another short clip. And if you want to watch the entire episode, the entire podcast, click here.